Now, around the world, tributes have been paid to Mikhail Gorbachev, the last leader of the Soviet Union, who died yesterday at the age of 91. His period in power led to the end of the Cold War between East and West, the eventual reunification of Germany, and the collapse of the vast communist Soviet Union. But as our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg reports now, the West's admiration for Mr Gorbachev is not widely shared in his homeland. For a man who made such a huge impact, a tiny memorial. Mikhail Gorbachev may have helped to end the Cold War, but in Russia, there is no major outpouring of grief at his passing. Instead, this on Russian state TV. The presenter claims it's the enemies of Russia, in other words, the West, that have been praising Mr. Gorbachev. And veiled criticism from the Kremlin. A spokesman says that Gorbachev had been badly wrong about the prospect of better relations with the bloodthirsty West. Many Russians blame Mikhail Gorbachev for the collapse of the Soviet Empire, something President Putin calls the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century. Today, Vladimir Putin sent a telegram to Mikhail Gorbachev's family expressing his condolences. But these two leaders are polar opposites. Gorbachev was someone who tried to open up his country, give people more freedom, freedom of speech, freedom to criticize the authorities. Under Vladimir Putin, critical voices are being silenced. I don't know when... But how much do Russians care? Some of Mr Gorbachev's closest allies are starting to wonder. All of us perhaps overestimated the attractiveness of uh, democratic ideas and the attractiveness of the ideas of human rights and the rule of law to quite a few people in Russia. Apparently there are many people in this country for whom uh, these uh, values are irrelevant. As for Gorbachev's legacy, that's being destroyed by the invasion of Ukraine, renewed east-west tension and by the Kremlin's crackdown on its opponents. Some here believe that today's problems are Gorbachev's fault. He failed to stop the fall of the USSR, Victor says. That was a huge mistake. But Marina says, I respected him. To me, he was hope and freedom. His supporters hope that one day Russians will come to see that Mikhail Gorbachev was a force for good, for their country and for the world. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.